Hello, welcome back. What's up guys? It's Daz here, but you don't really care as the time of this recording going up, I am well on back to recording whenever I want. Uh, this specific video though is not the case. I'm uploading this one. Uh, this, well, this video is going up on the 3rd, I believe. Probably. Um, it's number 43. No, it won't. Yeah, it's going up on the 3rd. Okay, so this will be going up at like 9 o'clock, but earlier in the morning today, that this goes up, I will have done more recording, and I can do it at a much leisurely, le leisurely, ooh, going American, uh, pace. Also, we have another Bowser mission to do. Um, Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor, cool, cool, cool. But I'm still doing 13 videos, I think actually I'm doing 14. I'm doing a backup just in case things go wrong earlier the day this goes up. Anyway, we're going into King Caliente's spicy return. I return, technically, into the realm of recording nice and safely. I don't know what I've done. By the time this goes up, I don't know what I've done. I might have done a whole, whole bunch of lovely uh, cooking skills. Maybe I became a master chef, or I mastered Garage Band. Do I have a song? Have I made a song? If I have a song, play it now. All right, that's enough of that song. <laughs> I probably didn't, we'll see. Um, I mean, it's only like two weeks away. Um, but yeah, I am somewhat back, even though... So, wait, earlier today, this goes up. It will be a matter of I'm way ahead and doing good stuff nicely. Then later in the day, I'm back in the past, back in November, no, not November, um, Jan, god damn it, December 23rd. So, gosh, this is a mess of time. But anyway, whatever. I really like what this level's looking like so far. I don't actually remember it. Was there a point? I mean, when I played Galaxy at the very beginning, I played this when it first came out. That was the last time I played this game. Um, I didn't complete this 100%. Um, I did probably like 70 or 80 coin, uh, stars, but I think maybe at this point I'd like given up, I'd gotten bored. Um, one thing in particular I didn't like was comets appeared randomly and you could change when they went and you know, they came and went. I always was under the assumption that if you did a comet mission and you failed it or you just left it, it would never come back. I thought it was like, here's a comet, it's here then it's gone. You better get onto it. And I didn't like that it was like forcing me into a certain way and there'd be times where I'd like, I'd skip a comet or I'd miss it or I'd fail it. And I was like, no, I'm never gonna be able to complete it now. Well, I guess I just won't complete it. So I've never actually 100%ed this game before, but I have seen Let's Players play this game 100% uh, quite a bit. I've seen a lot of people play it. So I know this game pretty well. Um, that is not gonna work for me, is it? Oh, come on. So, the fact that I'm playing this, this is like a, would you call it? This would not be any way close to blind, but it's like, gameplay wise, it's new to me, but conceptually, I understand everything. I don't know. Anyway, last time we did a long jump to get to there, and that messed me up, so I'm gonna go the long way along this massive crumpet. I mean, this island here with the two Goombas. They better not get in my way, by the way. It just reminds me of a crumpet, a really concrete crumpet. A con concrete crumpet? That sounds like a good band name. Who knows? Or just a weird video title. Yeah, I'm gonna call it that. Concrete Crumpet. And just to make it really weird, I'm gonna put it in cap locks. Not because I want more views, because I, I don't really think that makes a difference. I only usually do that if I'm actually meaning to shout. Um, but in this case, I'm doing it just to see what people are gonna be like. They might be like, oh, this was a good... I like this thumbnail. It's got King Caliente in it. But then other people might be like, oh, what does Concrete Crumpet mean? Oh, I'm gonna make a slightly jokey title. I never really know what to do for titles. Um, oh well. Among this very 2D looking sun in the background, which has now been blocked out, we have Bowser Jr. If I give up any more grand stars, my dad's gonna get mad. So this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente. I just cut out the bit there where I started coughing up my lungs. Oh. Lovely. Brrr. Right. What are you up to? You are pretty much the same. Uh, before we fought him in a bowl, then it was not so much platform. Now there's a lot more platform to jump on, but it all sinks into lava, so you sort of got to balance not burning a little bit. Because um, before, you didn't really have to worry about landing in lava at all. But still, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's good. It was a good move to make the coconuts right near all these... Ugh, little embers, but it didn't do much. Especially because it took you two hits twice? That's not very good, dude. 
Okay, I'm gonna go over here where you need some space. Meteors do nothing. Oh, more little fiery embers. I know they're called little birds when they're icy. Actually, these aren't even that. They're not like shards, they're just ghostly flames. Oh well. Three hits, just like last time, takes him out. Gosh, Caliente. Why did you, or Caliente, why did you even try? That was a pathetic attempt, really. But it is cool that his bathy lava just re like stays. Also, these pla these ugh, platforms choose they don't want to sink now. Like, I don't know why was King Caliente holding each one and pushing them down. If he was, that would have been totally cool to see in tentacle like his tentacles underneath pulling them down. But oh well, I guess that is a lot of power to ask that little wee. Maybe the Nintendo Switch will do a whole lot better. We shall see. But now it's a grand star time. Now, at this point, we usually would... Well, actually, no, we wouldn't at all. You would think that we'd go way off to this brand new galaxy or dome that we found. But no, uh, we're not going to do that straight away because we have other missions to do, obviously. Um, first of all, I want to do a purple coin mission because we need to get through those real quick. Um, I'm thinking the one over in this kitchen here because, I don't know, I do like doing the purple coins now in random order, and just any comet, because there's a bit of like randomness to this game that they allow that's kind of nice. Like, sure, I'm doing most of this in chronological order, but comets, they're also quite random anyway, so it'd be good to just follow them as they go. But, I don't know. On top of that, um, I'll probably also see this again at the finale, but um, if you don't like the fact that I'm doing this in chronological order, watch the whole playlist and put it on shuffle, and then you can in any, any random order you want. And then even like full on domes, the first one might be episode 1, the last one might be episode 59, who knows? It all will just be nice and random for you. Anyway, it's time for the purple coins in the bone pen. This, if ever there was like full dive in virtual reality, this is the kind of thing I could absolutely see a kid doing. You give it a time limit, only a minute, okay, let me talk to these people real quick. Can I get 150 gold coins? Cool, and... Yikes, this looks scary! Uh, what you need to do is you need to use the pool stars in this little area to get 100 uh, purple coins, obviously. Uh, there's a 6 HP mushroom in the middle and I believe a 1-up whoa in the top left. Um, I got it. I have 40 seconds, pretty much, to get like 75 coins, pretty much. Jesus, okay. Uh, but like, this is like the kind of thing that like I could totally see people doing as like an actual fun real-life minigame. Like, you're in, a, you're in a little pen. And you just gotta like pull yourself around, like just float around in a bubble or just like in general. Maybe not necessarily a bubble, but float around and just collect coins. It seems like an actual, it's like a bullpen, but in like video game form. I feel like this could be really cool if like, if you could make video games somewhat real. Although keeping the cartoony style would also be cool to cool too. I don't want like realistic floating meat in the air. That sounds really greasy and dirty. And oh, got them all. Three seconds left. This better not count the star as well. Ah, uh, oh. If that star was a little bit more to the right, I would have gotten that perfect. I sort of planned to hit that spiky ball, but that's just unlucky. Thankfully, this mission's only a minute long, so doing it again ain't gonna be an issue. And I'm gonna be quick about it this time. And it should be nice and easy. So, 6 HP, mushroom. Thank you. And then, uh, let's go for the one-up route. Ooh. Um, but no, you can actually use, I believe, the spiky balls as like a little trick to get places fast, like get coins faster, because you fly way quick when you do it. So I wouldn't, like, if I hit this one here, I I got two. Well, go me. Uh, please don't be wasting too much time. Um, I want this batch of coins right here. Lovely. And then you, and then you. It's also good to get pull stars that are far away, because you bounce around quite a bit. And then you can get all the coins as you go, I think. Uh, it's nice that the beefy meat bounces you about a bit as well. Like, that's nice because it gets you more coins. 
Um, where are the rest of the coins? We're running low on time and I barely have enough. But I don't have enough. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sir, uh, 65, 65, 95 even. Numbers. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. I was so close that time. 99. Damn it. Okay, one final time. Um, there are times where, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before. Is it bad that I keep saying I've mentioned this before? I, when I say I've mentioned this before, I mean like years ago, but... Um, I like films, I like storytelling. But there's times where I'm thinking, like, maybe I one day, like, make a video game. I don't know how it works. Maybe I'll just make the story part of a video game, and then, like, someone will turn it into a full-on video game or whatever. I'll be working for Rockstar and make it the next GTA or something. I don't know. Ah, that's not going to be my thing. But, like... I could totally see that coming in my life, because, like, video games are such a big part of my life, and film is my career choice, so if I could find a way to, like, combine the two, um, it'd be even weirder if I ever made a video game movie that was actually good! Um, I'm hearing that, um, Assassin's Creed movie, the Assassin's Creed movie, it's not very good. It's not doing very well on Rotten Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oh, jeez. Too much America. Um, I don't know. Also, it's got this one done with nice 11 seconds to go, so that's cool. I don't know. I think, like, I'd take a lot of pride if I, first of all, had the budget to make a full-on video game-styled game, like, full-on blockbuster movie-type budget, but also, if I did it well, then I'm just set for life. I'm golden. I'd be the director that made a good video game movie, you know? And, like, I play enough games to know what works and what doesn't. Sort of. I mean, I guess other ex experts say they would have done that, and look what happened to their old movies. But... I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping just in general there'll be a good video game movie one day. Um, I mean, Nintendo does want to do, like, 3D animation stuff for, like, Zelda, I'm pretty sure. So I guess those will be good. But, oh, oh well. I think at this point we are done. And um, we're not at a round number. I apologize. Um, what else is there to do? Well, there's a whole new dome with the hungry Numa for the engine and just no more purple coins around. Well, they'll come about sh soon enough. I am going to end it off here. Oh, it's the garden up top. Good to know. And the gate to the back. Cool. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to end it off here. My name's been Daz. You didn't really care. And I'll see you in a bit.